Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. My name is Narendra and welcome back to Beta X. Today we are diving into the world of Excel date and time functions. We'll be exploring functions like today, now, date and time to streamline your date calculations in Excel. Before we move forward, I would like to tell you that Beta X is offering an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using A tools. The link is in the description. We'll talk more about it later in the video. Working professionals, are you using Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint or Word in your day-to-day -day life? What if I tell you that you're wasting 95% of your time while you're doing so? How so you will be asking me? Because you're not using chat GPT and AI tools while doing all of these work. All right, let's start with today function. This function returns the current date. It's useful when you want to automatically update a cell with today's date. For example, in a sales report or a project timeline. Let's see an example using chart GPT. As you can see, we got the output. So, let's say we have a simple Excel spreadsheet with two columns, date and task. In the date column, you want to automatically populate today's date whenever a new task is added in the task column. So, let's do this. We have to enter our data in column A and column B. So, let's do this. So, let's copy this data. As you can see, I've copied the data to our Excel sheet. So, here we'll get the today's date. So, the function is simple. So, I'll show you. Just type today here. So, we'll get the today's date. So you can drag this thing and whenever you open the spreadsheet, it will update automatically. Now let's pause for a moment. A is taking over the world. In such a short span of time, we have seen so many layoffs, millions of jobs replaced by AI and whatnot. You don't want to get affected by this recession wave, right? Well. A won't replace you, but the person using A will. If you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career, join our two-hour Microsoft Office using A tools workshop, in which we will teach you about the best A tools to upskill, increase your productivity, and enhance your career. Make your future secure with us. Join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description now. Now back to the topic. Now moving on to the now function. This one is similar to today but it returns the current date and time. It's handy when you need to track when a specific action occurred like when a data entry was made or when a calculation was last updated. Let's see an example using chart GPT. As you can see, here is the output. So, we are continuing with our previous example of a simple Excel spreadsheet with two columns, date, time and task. Date and time column you want to automatically populate both today's date and current time whenever a new task is added in the task column. So let's do this. I'm just going to copy this dummy data into our Excel sheet. Okay. So here we are going to populate this first column. So just copy the second column. 
as you can see i've copied the data to our excel sheet so let's do this okay here we have to enter now as you can see we got the date along with time so you can just uh, drag this thing down so you can see your uh, time will change if we reload this thing or something like that as you can see the time got updated next up we have that date function this function allows you to create a date by specifying the year month and day as separate arguments it's useful for situations where you need to work with dates that are not based on today's date like calculating someone's age or determining the start date of a project let's see an example using chatgpt as you can see we got the output here so let's say we want to create a list of dates for a project timeline for uh, where we have three columns start date duration and end date so we want to calculate the end date based on start date and duration so first of all we have to enter our data so here is our dummy data start date and duration so we are going to calculate the end date so let's do this as you can see i've just copied the headers so we are not just going to enter the start date like that so here is the thing we are going to copy this thing okay here we are using date function okay then we are going to enter the duration in our case 30 days and we are going to find the end date so we are going to simply enter this thing or we are just adding these two things okay and you can see the end date so january 1st and uh, january 31st and finally let's talk about the time function this function constructs a time value from the hour minute and second components that you provide it's great for scenarios where you need to perform calculations involving time durations or when you want to display a specific time let's see an example using chat gpt as you can see we got the output let's say we want to calculate the end time of a task based on the start time and duration of the task so we have uh, three columns here start time duration in hours and end time so let's copy the headers first as you can see i've copied the headers in our excel sheet so first step is done here what we have to do is we have to use this function called time function and uh, the start time is 9 am okay let's copy this so first one is hour minute and seconds so here i'm just specifying 9 hours so the time is 9 am then we are specifying the duration which is 3 hours okay now we're going to calculate the end time so here is the 
formula. So the first one we are adding plus time the hours from B to cell and rest are zero and we got the end time 12 pm and that's it for this video remember practice makes perfect when it comes to mastering excel functions so don't hesitate to experiment with this date and time functions in your own spreadsheet do like comment share the video and subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos also do check out our workshop link in the description we'll see you there Thank you.